Hello and welcome to the Diet Dr. Pepper series. We are here this time in the penultimate race of the season at Legacy Phoenix and of course in the Gen 4 car as usual. Uh, we're almost done with the season and um, heading in to this race we are actually in the points lead and uh, we have a chance tonight, this very race, to clinch the championship but uh, we have to satisfy some criteria, I guess, in order to get the job done. And uh, I guess we'll go ahead and talk about that real quick. Uh, since we do have a, c a couple seconds here before we have to do qualifying. So I'll go ahead and turn this on for you so you can see. Heading into the Season 1 standings. He won with Gavin right behind us. I think Gavin said, I think it was like 9 spots he would have to finish ahead of us in order for um, me not to have clinched the championship at the end of this one. So, um, I might have to look up and see, because he did the math, look up and see if that's exactly what he had said or not. But uh, hopefully we can get it done. I'm kind of not feeling great today, though. Not even just driving, like, it's with this car and this track, which is a tough combo, to be sure, but just kind of feeling, like, lethargic today. Kind of having a sleepy day. Um, not sure if there's any reason for it. Just kind of a, <laughs> maybe not my sharpest today, but we're going to give it our best. We'll qualify here. Uh, going to be real steady on lap one, I think, is the plan. And then see if we can get a little bit more for lap two. So that's what we'll do. Very easy to get loose with uh, so much power in this vehicle. So hopefully we can at least get a solid lap in before we try to gain it. Focus up here. This feels like the track's a little grippier. That could be all in my head though. But sometimes. Ooh, that was definitely not grippier. I think I overdrove that. One more lap. Um, could be uh, on my head. Could be the track state changed. That lap time was twenty-eight point zero. Ooh, real loose out of first corner there. Well, that'll be a little bit better. We're in the eights. I think I can be happy with that. We'll see uh, if we fall any further. We are per currently P2. Uh, at least was able to pull it back a little bit the second lap. First lap, I definitely overdrove this corner here. Didn't really stick as much as I thought it would. Second lap, I, I still felt like it didn't have quite as much grip as I expected, but was able to hold my uh, the line I wanted to a little bit better. I think the plan today, just kind of feeling uh, a little out of it, I'm just going to try to be smooth, not cause any trouble, get ourselves a solid finish, and who knows, maybe that'll be enough to clinch the championship here today, which would be pretty darn cool. It's like Andrew on the pole, Tracy right behind him, and we are holding on to third at the moment. To this muted night up. So I think we did well enough to have ourselves a nice starting spot. Current plan is uh, a 52 lap run for fuel, and we will pit twice, I think. I think that's about right, yeah. Uh, we'll see if it goes green, though. This is very, very tough. Easy for genuine mistakes to happen just uh, coming off the corner, especially as the long goes, the run goes on. Sorry, my commentary. It's probably not going to be great today since I am feeling so, I don't know, sleepy? Maybe I'll just have to go to sleep early tonight, get some rest. But, yeah, plan is uh, every 52 laps, if it goes green, could be mistakes, don't know. 
Pit but pit we'll be ready. We'll be ready for the green flag pit stop if we need to do so. Got a couple new people in here. I know Connor's in here for the first time, I'm pretty sure. Um, I know we raced him in... I believe it was... One of, I think, was it Truck NIS he was there? Maybe? I don't remember. I remember racing against him, though, in one of the recent uh, league races. Maybe it was last time? I don't know. But uh, we are racing him for the first time here, I think, in this specific league. And uh, Charles as well. I raced him in an official race not too long ago and uh, had a good race. And uh, he has recently joined the league races as well. So good luck to him as well. That's cool. So finishing up here, P3 is where we will be. Starting on the inside. And uh, there is your starting order. Gavin down there in 17th. So if we were to finish where we started here, that would be enough for me to clinch the championship. I'm going to look that up real quick. And... Uh, I'm going to cut the recording and get back to you when it's time to get started, and I'll have the answer to uh, how far ahead I need to finish of Gavin in order to clinch the championship. So, be right back. That's the end of the session. P3. Alright, we are back and getting ready to grid. I found the uh, message that Gavin was uh, talking about with the math. Um, so long as I finish uh, 19 points uh, behind Gavin or better, which is uh, about five or six positions, I will get the championship tonight. So even if I finish behind Gavin, um, so long as I'm within five or six positions of him, uh, we uh, can still get it done here in this race. And uh, we're starting off yeah, good luck, everybody. about 14 spots in front of him. So yeah, hopefully luck, we man. can get it done. We'll see, though. Like I said, kind of not feeling great. But... Uh, one to go. Next time by. Good luck, up on the inside. Close. We'll give it our best. Just try to be smooth, and really, that's all we need to do, I think. Good luck, everybody. We're looking at the big picture. Good luck. All. About 62 laps of fuel on a tank, so plenty enough to reach about 52, like I wanted. So maybe we'll pit, uh, maybe we'll pit like 53, 54. That's probably good. Oh, hold up. Kind of seeming like a uh, first gear start, actually. I won't get you. I was watching. Yeah, that's interesting. So 156 laps here, just looking to be smooth, trying to get the job done here today. Andrew leading us off. Ah, first gear was not the play. That reached, uh... Limiter much quicker than I expected. Alright, now I know. Second gear in the future. Try to protect the rear tires too, because I expect that this uh, the car could get really tough to put the throttle down eventually. Whoa, Dylan gets a little bit loose ahead. Holds on to it though. The leader has just done a 28.0. The guy behind has just done a 28.0. 
car in front of lap time is at 28.0. Green so far, everybody's been able to hold on. Getting too sideways. Seems like we're holding on just fine on the early laps here. E4. Had a bad start, but seems like we're holding just about the pace we need to hang out here. That was a bad uh, first corner though. Too surprising though, like I said, very tough out here, so probably a genuine mistake somewhere. Oh Chad. Uh, don't hit the apron out of four. Uh oh. Shane maybe hit the apron out of four. Is that what I'm gathering from that? That's no good. Obviously too early to come into pit or anything right now. It's open. So we'll ride around for a minute here. I don't think we have any lap cars, so maybe it'll be a shorter caution. Already two to green, so not bad at all. A lot of people were saying, and I agree, in the practice, uh, in chat, it's it feels weird to be on Legacy Phoenix after getting used to uh, New Phoenix. It's uh, mostly the same place. You've got some grass planted down here on the left in this one, and start-finish line is in a different place. But theoretically the same track otherwise, but it sure doesn't feel like it. it. It just feels like it drives completely different. I don't know if that's like just uh, bumps on the track, the pavement, all that stuff, but uh, I will say like turn one on this configuration, heading into turn one there, it feels like that's so much tighter. It feels like you're turning for ages over there. Whereas it feels like you can carry much more speed through that corner on the new Phoenix. One left to green. Okay, Colton. All pretty interesting. We're definitely going to be going to second gear this time. So we will have a single file restart. I almost forgot that's how it works in this league because we don't get cautions anymore. <laughs> Get a good view of the desert up there. Got some cactuses <laughs> up on the hill. Get into the gear we need to get into, and uh, hopefully have a better have a better start this time. Get ready, going green. I can't see. Ice car is in. Green, green, green. 
Top two got uh, got away pretty quick. Doing really good on the restart here. Gonna be feathering the throttle, trying to be nice. Rear tires, not heat them up. We can avoid it. Kind of missed my turn in a little bit. Kind of cut down though and get a better exit. Might just have to met, let Mitch go at some point. He's real fast, and I am just not feeling uh, up to par today, to be honest. But uh, keeping it down low here in the final corner. And yeah, he's all over us back there. I don't know if he was going for it or what. Just keep an eye on him back there. like Tracy gets the lead away from Andrew fighting pretty hard up there on the early going I'm still just 100% concerned with being smooth here maybe it'll pay off maybe it'll be good to uh, just be more gentle with our inputs for a while Really pulling away up here or anything. A little bit too much throttle there exiting the corner. Slid just a little bit. Inside. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. Car inside. Goes for the move. I'm not going to fight him too hard. Didn't expect Chuck to be there that quickly. Kind of cut it a little close, I didn't mean to. Yeah, car hot. Yeah, I'm sorry, my tires were hot. I feel like there might have been some contact back there. We could end up with some more yellows before this thing's over. I trying that I cheap, but it didn't work. Going now though, we're 19 laps in. I feel like I could be more aggressive on the exit of one, but just being real careful with the throttle. Seems like they get a better runoff than I do, probably because I'm being careful with it, but I think I'm just going to stick with it. Not 
looking to overdrive today if I can avoid it. That last lap was at 28.9. Bit loose for some guys up ahead, it looked like. B5. She's in a bit of apron, that's interesting. Got a big gap between uh, Chuck behind us and the rest of the field. Okay, Colton, the next car is Dronowski. Maybe getting a little loose on the exit there. That lap time was 28.9. That's good consistency, keep it up. So since we had the caution, we'll push back our uh, planned pit stop a little farther. Originally it was going to be 52. Maybe we go to like uh, 56. Though with the potential of more cautions, maybe we do go a little bit longer just in case. Maybe we even go to 60. If we make it that far. Yeah, we can. Sure, why not uh, be a little careful? Go to about 60. That will be the current plan unless something changes. See everybody kind of uh, fighting off loose race car on the exits here. Definitely feeling it as well, I'm just not pushing the issue. If the car doesn't want to give it to me, I'm not going to ask it. Trying to do too much here today, as I've said before. Still just feeling out of it. I'm not getting sick or something. Kind of got that like pre sickness feeling. Kind of just tired, extra tired for no reason. Maybe I just didn't sleep well for whatever reason. Caught up to Mitch here. It's getting loose. That was a twenty-nine point one. Got a little bit of a gap forming between us and Chuck behind. Just a small one. Oh, Alan has left. I noticed a couple people left. They must have been involved in whatever that initial caution was, maybe? I don't know. That's too bad. I guess a handful of guys were caught up in that. No one really talked about what happened, I don't think. All I heard was Shane got loose, maybe, at a turn four. But we'll see later in the incidents what happened. That was a uh, 29.2. The uncommon caution here in the Diet Dr. Pepper series. Through 29. Got a long way to go. Whoa, Mitch is getting really loose. He's just fighting through it, though. Oh, man, he's having trouble holding on to it even on a straightaway. His rear tires are not happy with him.
He's having a heck of a time holding on to that thing, I think. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he has spun. I knew he was having trouble. Appreciate him for not overcorrecting that into me. It looks like he started coming back the other way, but maybe swerved it back. So that's interesting. We might be able to one-stop it to the end now. How many laps are remaining, so we're definitely pitting right here. It's going to anyway. Pit road is now open. Full course yellow. Pits are open. So worth it to take care of those rear tires. Definitely seems to be the case. Whoa, <laughs> pit lines up a little further. I started slamming on the brakes a little earlier than I thought. Right here. Let's see. 86-89. Share that. Left rear, though. More and more. All clear. Punch it. They want you in single file. 85, 91, 88. Catch the 66. Cast. Just looking at the different tires. Idea of what we're looking at. It's open. How we're stacking up and everything. I think I'm okay with how I was driving it. One lap to green. Cars in this lap. Yeah, we can make it on one stop here. Ninety-one, ninety-one. Wow, that's impressive. Warren, bet he wishes that went green a little longer. Bet he was feeling pretty good compared to the competition. Get ready, going green. Pipe car is off. All right, we're going to go back to trying to be nice to the rear tires. Let's see what we can do. For the lead, it looks like Tracy. Oh wow, he overdrives it, I think. Sliding through the corner. I get a little bit loose because I'm watching him and not my line. 
race and a little bit harder than I think I would want to right now. A little early to be uh, drifting the corners for me, I think. Maybe later. <laughs> Not right now, though. So they can, uh, they can have fun with that. I'm going to just try to be gentle here. I've got to look at the big picture for this race. Even still, even if uh, even if, if it wasn't for the championship, I think uh, I want to be gentle with the, the rear tires and everything anyway. I think this might just be the way to go. I wonder uh, how Mitch is doing. I don't think he hit anything. I wonder if we'll end up seeing him again before the end of this one, if he's going to be working his way forward. He's clearly very fast. He's got a lot of time to do it, so we could be seeing him again before the end of this one. Especially if we get some more cautions. Allow us to reset. Another attempt at the lead, it looks like. You've just done a 28.4. Another very hard drive into turn one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dylan just got very sideways. No one's driving so hard. So hard for lap 43. I'm afraid Dylan's going to be the next guy that uh, does what Mitch does, or did, rather. He gets uh, sideways because he's getting very loose out of the corner. Chuck has caught back up to us, it looks like. Plenty happy with where I'm running. Okay, Colton. Cup time's pretty consistent. Just gonna keep being gentle on my inputs. Logging some laps, that's good. Lap Having to uh, have caution. We had the two earlier, but haven't had a caution for a while now. About 14 laps into this run. It's okay to have a couple cautions once and again. Real races always have some cautions. There's always something that goes on. 
far from a wreck fest if we can get a handful of laps in first, so. Sometimes it spices it up. Sideways there. Weird place to get sideways. Arm down low at a link. Put the apron there, did not mean to do that. Chuck's coming up on us. Drove that. Okay. I feel like you can approach that final corner there about a thousand different ways. They all kind of work pretty well. Link. Why am I getting so sideways? Right there. Barely had any uh, wheel in it or anything. It started feeling a little loose. Good consistency. Keep them coming. Still kind of just hanging out right here in fourth place. Happy with where I am. Plan is still to run the tank empty, I think. Since we can make it on one more stop from where we are. What if everybody knows that? I'm sure they do. where Gavin's running right now. We're ahead of him, so we know that's good. It'd be interesting to know where he is. The problem is I can't really check because even on the straightaways this thing can be kind of a handful. Really don't want to lose my focus. Maybe if we get another yellow I'll see where he's uh, found himself in the field up to this point. Pulling away from me a little bit. I'm not too worried about that though, because we are just fine where we are. Got some space behind us. Not falling through the field or anything. Be interesting to see if uh, being nice to our rear tires will come in handy later. As long as we don't end up with that car that Mitch had for a little bit there. I think that's a successful plan. Just so I don't have to drive that thing. He looked like he was dealing with a lot. We go green to the end. This has been a good run. Latest caution. Feeling 
I'm getting a little slidey there. That lap was at 29.2. Okay, Colton, lap times are pretty consistent. That's what I like to hear, consistent lap times. That's what I'm aiming for. Oh my gosh, Dylan's starting to look like Mitch did. That's a little scary. Good handling come into play soon. It's starting to look like it's getting a hold of the guys that were driving real hard out of the corners. Chuck's been uh, pretty darn close to us. Behind us. Within half a second. It's been probably good to his equipment. With Andrew and Dylan in front of us looking like he's still there. Used to getting loose on the back stretch. I saw that. At least I thought I did, unless it's my eyes playing tricks on me. Lap times are pretty consistent. I thought that would be our pilot. Starting to get a little bit sketchy back there as you go around the Just corner. Save that moment back here, left lap. Yeah, you and me both. Good, Mitch. Sounds like Mitch is moving his way forward. Go ahead, Shane. I don't know if that was a good idea. <laughs> Car out to die, got half your fuel left. Still there, hold your line. Clear high. Clear of us. Hard to get it back on throttle down low there. That lap was a twenty nine point eight. Man, they are struggling with those rear tires. You can definitely see it. I don't know how I'm going to get around, though, unless they make a bigger mistake, because down low, that was really not feeling too good in terms of overtaking. can't really put too much uh, throttle into it when you've got to turn the wheel more like that. That last lap was at 29.4. Leaving 
just done a 29.4. Oh, we got a lap car up on the wall. Matthew in the 59. Looks like we'll get around him just fine, though. Oh, boy. Big slide for Dylan. I just gotta wait for a big enough slide for me to get around. You're out here close enough. He's holding on to it really well, considering how tough that thing looks to drive. That was a They're just too good, man. Even when they're struggling with the car's handling, they're just so fast. Fighting off that loose race car, it's still keeping their momentum somehow. I don't know how they're doing it. Dylan and, like, you've got uh, Andrew up there looking pretty loose, too. up here not quite I thought it was hitting the wall for a second take it down here Kevin Tried something there, tried going high. Don't think there was anything for me. Mitch has left. He has not been able to move his way back up the field, I guess. I just don't know how I'm going to get around. Maybe this is payback. <laughs> Since Dylan couldn't get around me in the truck NIS for the GAB chip. Okay. Kind of poetic, maybe. Back here at Phoenix, just a different version of it. Was 
Position sure does seem to be important though here. No matter what version of Phoenix we're on. Basically pulling away a little bit. He's being able to go fast and protect his uh, rear tires, or maybe he's just good enough you can't even tell that they're bothering him. Seventeen laps of fuel left. Uh oh. Matthew off pace, broken car down low. No real apron for him there, so he just had to keep it as close to the bottom as he could. A little bit scary, but we're okay. And uh, that is wall for Dylan. He finally did find the wall a little bit. I just can't get around him, no matter how loose he's getting on the straightaway in the corners, doesn't matter. Can't get any sort of run or anything. So I didn't want to dive it in. We got a little bit loose there. Maybe setting something up behind us. He went high through that final corner. Close to the end of the fuel run. Chuck's right behind us. Take it down here, Nick. I don't understand how he can keep so much momentum when he's sideways on the straightaway. That's crazy. It's 
some people pitting in now, it looks like. I don't know what I gotta do, man. I cannot get by him. It's almost time to pit. It get dangerous out here with cars on fresh tires going by cars on older tires. Maybe that's more reason for us to stay out longer. Can't stay out much longer though because we're running low on fuel. You've got about five laps of fuel. There's that message right there. Five laps of fuel left. Sorry, that was a little close. My bad. Car outside. Keep low. I'm going to be fitting here, Kevin. Duck behind the guy. Behind. That's Car annoying. 10 4. Keep high. Much place for him to go, though. Keep high. Clear. Pressure tires coming up. I gotta go in the pit for you. Where are you, Steve? Uh, inside. Keep yeah. high. I think we're going a little, as long inside. as we can here. Can't go much longer, but. Is a car leaving the pits? Some guy's pitting. The car behind is pitting. Three. Back in third. Keep hustling. You've got about two laps of fuel. You've got half a gallon left. Yeah, the lead is pitting now. Watch your speed. All right, pitting in. I cannot feel my left hand. We'll need to stop again. <laughs> Ouch. Everything checked. Ten. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. Sixty-nine seventy-seven. Buchanan behind is pitting. The lead is pitting now. All right. Hopefully we uh, get up and out of here. Nice and well. Kevin says, it's shut up, crazy fool. <laughs> Probably an accident. Hey. We're going to be really fast compared to uh, guys who have not pit yet, so we got to be very careful. Stop 
seventh position. The next car is the leader. Nick in front of us. Car outside. Go low, clear high. Car inside. Keep high. Nice. Clear inside. Fine. Fourth position. Get on field to the end. It's pretty much everybody at this point, I think. I didn't bother with undercutting or anything because. I don't need to win this race or anything, and I didn't want to get uh, caught out by a caution. So, it would have been nice to undercut and get around some guys knowing that uh, it's really, really hard to pass. But, better to uh, stay in fourth and get caught by a caution and who knows what happens from there. If I go a lap down or something dumb. Keep being consistent. Hopefully, get ourselves our top five. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Just about 50 to go. P4, your lap time was 28.3. Tracy's got himself a pretty good gap right now. Still within eyesight though, so that's cool. Still Andrew and Dylan in front of us. Be reaching some lap traffic, it looks like. Thought for sure we might get a caution during the green flag pit stop cycle with how many different speeds were all over the track with different uh, tire wears and positions in the field all mixed together, but somehow we all make it, which is cool. throw just a little bit too much there. Lap times are pretty consistent. A 
Pick up on Matthew again. He is dangerously off pace. The gap in front is now 0.9. Your last lap time was at 28.7. Andrew's stuck behind the 26. Finally got out of the way there, but slam into the wall in the process. Outside. Outside is clear. Not sure what the gap is between Chuck and the rest of the field behind him, but I'm not going to fight him too hard if he uh, ends up by us. Because the difference between 4th and 5th is not a huge one. And especially if we've got a lot of uh, gap back there. No reason to uh, end up wrecking myself or anything. One spot reminds me of uh, wrecking myself driving too hard at Gateway earlier in the season. Trying to hold on to, I think it was like a second. Oh, hold on a second. We think right has stacked it. Alright, well, we'll be coming in for our final set of tires, I believe. Are we? Because it is hard to pass. Car is out. Pits are closed. Pace car is out. Line up single file behind car number 66. Tires aren't that old. Pit road's open. Four course yellow. Pits are open. They're all going, I guess I'm going. Look out for the pit speed limit. The leader, header, is pitting. Watch your speed. We'll need to stop again. Pit box in 10. 5. 3. 2. 1. Right here. Let's see. There we go. Weird pit stalls because you have to go around the corner. We get there. That's it, go. You only have one tire set remaining. Line up that single us out. letter seventy five. Carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Catch the seventy five. That's fine. Car I think I'd rather start on the inside anyway. Never mind, it's single file. <laughs> I remember that while I was saying it. Oh well. I'm not too concerned about it. Gavin down in... Oh, did he take like two tires or something? Open. Interesting. That might be a smart call. He's looking to keep his championship hopes alive, I think. Maybe took a two-tire call? Left side's looking pretty good, so that could have been very smart. Lots of wave arounds, I think. Yeah, that's what we're seeing. Very quiet race, not too much chatter. We'll have a fresh set of tires to the end. And we've got another one, and maybe we might want to use later. Potentially. Four 
Still got about 40 laps left in this race. I'm going to 39 right now, I think. All right, wave around, guys. Be ready. Let's go. One to go. Next time, by. All right, Colton. Get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. Alright, we just gotta keep it together. Gavin's back there, ready to uh, take it away if we make a mistake, so we gotta hold it together. Be smart. About to go green, stay focused. Jesse, very far back from the pace car. Pace car is off, time to do your job. Green flag, Just done a twenty eight point five. Outside. Keep low. Clear outside. I have him there. We had a good run through the inside of the corner. Fastest lap for Bips. 27.9. You've just done a 28.0. Really? really? I got another yellow? Alright. Dylan, was I blinking right there? Pits are closed. Well, shoot. All right. Gavin's been able to hold on to seventh, so the two-tire car looking pretty darn good for him. Pit road open. Full course yellow. Pit Obviously road. not pitting here. We just got a new set of tires on this thing. Hopefully, it's not a bunch of wrecks to the end. Man, track position is so important, though. Chuck gets around us on pit road, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get around him again. Car 71, got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. Car 71 with the lucky dog. Who is that? Warren. It's the lucky dog. Letter 71. Carbide. You had the position when the yellow So he'll presumably be out. on the lead lap again. How many we got on the lead lap? Probably still a whole bunch. That is 25 now. Yes. It's are open. I think we just have to go on this set of tires to the end, even if we get a caution with like 15 to go or something. It's just so hard to pass. I think we have to stay up here. Closed. Pit road is closed. Especially if we're going to be doing a lot of these laps under yellow. But I don't think uh, I have some epiphany coming up with that idea. I think probably everybody up here is going to be 
doing the same thing. They've all experienced it and how difficult it is to get around anybody. Best chance to pass was probably pit road, and that's what Chuck took advantage of. I just went really easy in my box because I was having trouble seeing where my box was. We'll be going green with 31 to go, I think it is. I believe that is correct. One left to green. Ice cars coming in this lap. Still got to remember the plan. Just got to be smart. We're in the top five. We are not five or six positions behind Gavin, so things are looking up. We can just finish this one off strong. Get ready, going green. Off. Green, green, green flag, green flag. 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 Green Probably shouldn't even try, but that's not very fun either. So I'm just trying too hard. That's halfway. We estimate 24 minutes of fuel left. Big loose moments for some guys up ahead no one really making any major mistakes though okay, that's what you need contact. in order to have a decent chance to pass Was 
Minecraft and stuff, just for fun. Nothing happening though. Gavin right behind us all of a sudden. Your tire's looking great. Kevin not directly behind us anymore though. I wonder if something happened to him. Much as I hate to say it, I think I just gotta settle in here. Take the top five if I can still hold on to that. Okay, well, I'm gonna get a caution file. instead. Pit road is closed. This car is out. Line up single file behind car number 75. We're under caution. It's closed. Passing just not an option, it feels like. As much as I want to try doing crazy Good things, right there. taking Sorry, the high line in the final corner and such. <laughs> no problem, man. I got the I got the wall coming into three, so I I rode the wall a bit. Open. And that was fun. Full course yellow. Pits are open. So anybody can take the final set of tires? I doubt it. Chad, I wouldn't. The wall there, did about it. No way. Are you kidding me? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm surprised people went in there. Scavin. This will be interesting. I I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I saw it so going to the Got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. With how hard it is to pass, I was thinking, no way. I'm surprised so many people came in. If it holds, I'll take it. Let that 74. Car bike. Yeah, we'll see. I, I did not think that many people would sit there. Well, this is interesting. Now I'm kicking myself even more for uh, <laughs> losing that spot to Chuck on pit road because I would be in the lead right now. They're all the way back in like 15th, maybe. <laughs> They're way back there now. Closed. Pit road is closed. I thought way more was there. We're under I don't know about this, man. We've been getting some cautions all of a sudden. See Tracy back in 14th. I'm content, even if this doesn't work. I'm like, this is. Absolutely, was what I was going to do ten times out of ten. Now I gotta. Nick King, did you see it? Now I gotta fight myself too. Yeah, Convince myself not to wreck, anyway. trying to give a win either. I didn't know. I was trying to figure out who was the first one off that road. Had to be Tracy, right? I believe it was Ian. Ah, oh, maybe some two tires going on? Yes, yeah, that is correct. Two tires, of course. Huh. 10th to 13th round, two tires. We got the field so mixed up back there, too, and there's a high chance for a yellow. Yep. You are a brave soul. Couple took two, it's kind of smart. Less smart one. I'm on two from the last pit stop. <laughs> I was wondering how you got those four spots, Gavin. Yeah, it was only 98-98 on the left, and it hasn't felt too bad. Yeah, he was making passes on those I two tires, so that he's was doing okay. Was on two tires in the last stop. That's correct, that was me. About to go green, stay focused. Alright. Think it's gonna be 18 to go? Getting restarted. 
The pace car is in. Green, 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 green. green. Nice and smooth, you're running second. A little bit of time span. P2. That's what I kind of thought might happen. We like to see those. Not really. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Well, Pace car is out. Single file. Car number seventy-five. Uh oh. I think that was Nick getting caught. Sounds like somebody had a bad restart. Yeah, I think it got run over in turn one. I wouldn't say run over, I'd say open. squeeze me pretty hard. I'm open. pretty sure I was in there. I tried not that, I mean, it was just catching me real hard. Just racing the deal. That was a ways back, I couldn't see it too good. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not back there. He That's what I'm saying, man. Cleared me last second to go towards the bottom, but I closed the back and I was inside. I think Tracy has this one easel if he stays out. He was running away from everybody. I don't think the tires even mattered too much. I mean, he still has a chance, obviously. Assuming he wasn't destroyed in that. Got the lucky dog. Let the past on the it's going to be harder. we got less laps to do it now. I'm gonna not uh, spin up my tires this time. Sounds like a good idea. I need those short crossings here. Left up, 74. Carbide, you had the position when the yellow flag came out. Well, this should be two to green. It's going to be just a little over 10 laps to go on the restart, looks like. Practice launch here. Pit road is closed. That's better than I did last time. What the... 86, you good? Yeah, my, B my, uh, my BR blink. I'm coming back up. Sorry guys, this is his first time. This just got him some delay. Well, a couple of yellows here near the end. Hopefully it's not like this all the way to the end. Even if that would benefit us, it would be nice to finish under green. Chuck went very early last time, so got to be ready for that. Race is still back there in 13th. And then, of course, you've got some, like, two tire takers and such in front of him. Uh, not spin our tires up this time and have ourselves a good restart. See what we can do. Get ready, going green. <laughs> Still almost spun him up that time. It's 
see if I can chase him down. We're matching race pace. Eleven to go. We're quickest right now. That's a new fastest lap for Club 27.9. Throw that, unfortunately. I'm so sorry. That is that is not what I wanted to do. My bad. Yeah, I'm sorry, Chad. There was nothing I could do. I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch him. I'm trying my best, but he is pretty fast and we don't have very much time to do it. Flag is out. Out. And another Deep yellow. Is that in the race? I don't think it does. Oh my god. Race cars out. Line up single file behind car. Oh yeah, you had that. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Well, I am sorry to the fellows that uh, found me into the pit. That was a bad call. <laughs> yeah, that was. Cool off, Gavin. I really thought I was going to have to run to one of those corners, but you did a really good job sticking the outside. Is it over? Yeah, you might have had it right there. I was getting pretty tight. It's not over. We got stuff. We got like six minutes. Anyway. I, I was just trying to drive as hard as I could through the center, and it got tight on me. Just trying not to drive through your door. Yeah, that was pretty close. That was fun, though. Uh, Ian, I just really want to apologize again. I'm sorry. I, You started coming up, and I started getting a little loose, and I tried to get off and turn to the right a little bit, and then I had to save it, and it just hooked left and hooked you. I'm so sorry. That was terrible. All good, man. Racing me. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like that. I'm pretty close to the front. You'd expect to roll over. Yeah, the mix of strategy definitely made the end of this one very interesting. Well, race is up to eighth. Left up, 59. Carbide, you had the position when the yellow flag but came out. When we get going here, it's going to be a sprint. It's our open. We'll need a mistake from Chuck if we want to get the win here. Don't think it's likely though. Yeah, Chad, I about had a 14 plastered on my grill. Pit road is closed road right now. You got five laps to go. Just testing it out. Forward. Seems like it really wants to uh, spin up the tires. I think we'll have a three-lap shootout to the end. Some of you don't get another caution, of course. 
Well, Tracy, you were smoking everybody, so I thought I'm going to do whatever he does. But we're, we're getting there, just slowly. Wasn't enough laps. I figured everybody would have won. I think we did like 20 laps. It was that really, uh, that short caution right after you guys pit that killed you guys. Yeah, that took away my buffer between me and Tracy, so I didn't have any, uh, okay, anything to protect me while I worked as far as I thought. Alright, yeah, it'll be three to go. Another caution will end it. I'm gonna try for the win, but we don't wreck yourself. I was just hoping I could bring everybody down with me, but don't be a big old coconut around. head and wreck yourself and lose the championship. The you know, at least don't yeah, clinch it to get today. Yeah, at, yeah, I mean, like we got bigger fish to fry in the in the large scale. But I, when that Costa came out, I was definitely contemplating staying out, and I'm glad so many people did. Let me not spin up my rear tires. I keep doing it on these restarts. About to go green. Stay focused. The pace car is in. Green, green, green. Man, the rear tires are really hating me. Yellow flag. Wow. Okay. Pit road is closed. That was a lame way to end it. Bit of a gift, but I'll take it. No, I could win, Chuck. You were, you've been fast all night. We did it, though, I think. I mean, I think we did it. Yeah, great job. I hate that we had a bunch of cautions in a row there. But overall, it was a great fun race, I think. Yeah, we had a lot of green laps. Uh, so it was fun to be had, but a bit of a wet fart to end, to end the in the race. I think there's some black flags out from passing before the line with that wreck. Yeah, can I have a black clear? That, the guy uh, spun his tires right in front of me as I was poking my nose, and on that restart. Oh, once I timed the restart, and I lost up. White flag, stay smooth. Well, we're three wide. <laughs> three wide to the white flag. I'd also like to point out that with second place, Colton has clinched the, the championship. Congrats, man. Hey, good stuff, Colton. Definitely earned it, Colton. Good stuff, man. Basketball season. Yep, big congrats. Thanks, guys. That was, uh, that was a lot of fun. A little bit of a weird way to do it, but... Uh, fun racing earlier in the race too. Uh, good win to Chuck. Nice job, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate you have to sit out next season. No, congratulations, go. <laughs> hey, I just want to check this shit. Ooh. Well done, Colton. Great drive. That's yeah, he went well. Let's check it back. So we want to. Uh, Congrats on the win, job. Chuck. Very good job. Good job, Colton. Great job, man. I'm getting hit. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we're getting hit. <laughs> Let everybody buy. Still a cleaner race than I thought it was going to be with the way the setup felt. Good race, everyone. Before we do our uh, celebration, we'll try to do a little bit better Let of a celebration this time. Cowboy, yeah, I never thought I would finish. And then I was out. fun early on, so I really didn't think I was going to finish. We survived. We played it smart. I was so close to not hitting that guy. Just like he spun his tires and started to put flat down on the time to react. Half that, 74. Let that, 75. Cowboy.
I stink at burnouts. Take it, Jack. Okay, the race is over. Bring it on here. Not very much room to do it here, Phoenix. We're going to try. Congratulate you, Colton. I hit the wall. We're good. <laughs> That'll top it off with my terrible burnouts. All right, so we're in the tires. I guess we don't get to see that uh, for realsies, what that really was. But uh, yeah, um, I'm su I'm surprised. I'm surprised more people did pit. I thought less people would pit. I was, you know, I was talking about it coming around. Um, I didn't think anybody would do it with how hard it was to pass, but, you know, I guess the guys were thinking a lot more people were coming in. And uh, it just wasn't the case, so. Um, even if it goes green, I think we hold on to a bunch of those spots. But we get the championship. Heck yeah. Um, Gavin gave us a good run, run for our money, though. He made sure that we had to finish well today in order to do it. And uh, thankfully, we were able to. So we will take a look at the incidents. We actually had some to look at today. Normally, these races are just immaculate. But an incredibly difficult combo with uh, these high-powered cars and uh, the slick Phoenix surface here at uh, Old Phoenix. Uh, good race. Everyone being very kind. I hope I didn't miss anybody. We got it done. And uh, we still got one race to go. So, looking forward to Homestead next week. Here it is, lap five. That's when Shane found that uh, apron down there. Yeah, that transition just completely sent his car sideways. Did more people get into it? Does not look like it. Thankfully, no one uh, was coming by three wide or anything to run into him. That would have been a big one, I think, with these narrow uh, straightaways here. Whoa, the 24. Holding on to it. Getting on throttle. That's just how incredibly difficult this is, man. Oh no, Alan finding the inside tire barrier right there. Good thing those tires were there. That was going to be a heavy hit, but he calls it there. That's unfortunate. Lap 26. And uh, yeah, this is uh, about as well as you can do at uh, illustrating how difficult this is. 7.7k I rating, Mitch. We were following him for a while. Just noticed he was uh, having trouble holding on to it finally goes around on him there just no uh, more grip willing to be given by those rear tires and he goes around so that's a perfect illustration of how difficult this combo is just about uh, anybody can self-spin uh you just get those rear tires too hot Shane catching up to the field there 26 driving in a little too hard. It gets into the 74. It looks like he just kind of missed his turn in there. Somehow they keep it straight, though. That was impressive by both of them just to keep it from spinning. 59 goes in there a little bit hard. A little bit of wall on entry, unfortunately, uh, prevents the turn in there. So we've got some more wall. There's that corner again. The exit of turn one. Claiming another victim. We might see plenty more of those before the end of this incident reel. All the way to lap 69 though. For the most part everyone doing a great job. A couple wall hits. 28 gets the wall. Oh no, Mitch had another issue. I did not realize that happened. That might be when he decided he was going to call it a call it a day. Yeah, that was the last lap he did. He comes into the pits right here. Yeah, he probably KO'd his car. 
wild to see. Very, very talented driver. And he just got, it looks like he just got sideways going through there. Maybe just caught a little bit too much of the uh, rumble strip there. Maybe it just hit the bumps, some bumps the wrong way, but got him sideways and he ended up pretty hard into that outside wall. Moving along here. 59 goes spinning to the inside. Ooh, that KO's, KO's his car, too. Yeah, I remember. That's whenever we came up on him and he was uh, down there at the bottom with a broken car. He limps to the pits. Dylan gets the wall a little bit there. Front stretch. Even still, that was just so hard to pass. Letting the uh, leader by there. Charles getting some wall. Uh oh, that's a really bad spot to get uh, get the wall on entry there. So it's gonna prevent him from turning in. Ooh. Kinda already getting this one in progress. Okay, so probably putting more wheel into it on exit, and that's probably what's causing this thing to turn on him. And uh, the tires are so hot, he's just having the hardest time holding on to it. This brings out our uh, caution after I think we had a long green run preceding that. And then soon here we're gonna have a couple quick restart issues. Oh, oh! Looks like Ryan, lowercase Ryan. That's a bit of an odd place to get the self-spin. He must have his brake bias pretty far back, and then drove it in real hard. Of all places to get sideways, that's a, a pretty interesting one. And he gets sideways enough to bring out the yellow. Oh. Wow, did Shane save that? Ooh, that is difficult to do. Oh, no. With the 26 trying to take advantage. Trying to go up the middle. Somehow they keep it together. Here's what happened to Kevin behind us. He gets the wall on entry. I knew he was right behind us and then all of a sudden was a couple spots back. That explains what happened there. And then we get a caution soon after. It is the 28 spinning in that same turn, claiming so many drivers here that we didn't have a yellow until I think he pulled back onto the track. But he had to get going. I don't think he intended to bring out a yellow or anything. Just trying to get to head back the right direction, and it wouldn't have brought up the yellow, I don't think, unless there were no cars coming. Or it wouldn't have brought out the yellow if they didn't have cars coming, I mean. Getting closer to the end of this one. Oh. I see what happened. Okay, so Nick was talking about Tracy. So this is the, the thing that uh, we're talking about. Tracy kind of jumps the start a bit. He's hanging back. He sees the leader go, and he decides he's going to kind of jump it he can't pass until the until they're there though and then uh, Tracy wasn't there that's probably why uh, Nick took exception to it because Tracy was not there so I would probably call that one on Tracy just because he didn't get the car inside call and he was being pretty aggressive though understandably so because I mean he's trying to get back to the front after he pit and he doesn't have much time to do it so I understand why he's being aggressive but I also understand that uh, probably Nick's corner at that point he's still not even uh, on his inside and they're already doing the turn in Tracy just decides he's there and uh, Nick's not gonna let you just have it so Really, it only hurts Tracy, I think, in the end, because that brings out a, an immediate yellow here. And uh, that just gives Tracy less time to get up for, up to the front. 
so only really hurting himself I think in the in the end unfortunately oh there was John said that uh, his VR had an issue got that fixed I think that almost getting out of the wall he was having a hard time getting that thing turned Ooh. and what happens here so Ian's on his inside Everything's looking normal up to this point. Hmm. That's tough. I think that the 83 kind of turns in on him. Maybe was even just trying to file in behind him and just barely gets the, the quarter panel there. So I think he was probably just trying to file in behind and misjudged it. Oh, oh no. And then Chad. He's getting that tight again. He's having a... He's getting real tight into uh, turn one, it looks like. A couple of times. He's trying real hard to get that thing turned. Probably has a ton of wheel in it. And then he gets to the exit. Kind of is loose. Comes down right in front of Nick here. And Nick has no time to react to it. And unfortunately, that sends Chad around. Which... Does that bring out a caution? I don't know if it does. Did that bring out a caution? I don't think it did. That really stinks for Chad. He lost a ton of spots there. There's a little ramp over the curbs there. At 148. Wow, okay. <laughs> Whoa. Looks like Ronald really misses his braking marker or something. Way too hard into there. Sure was not intentional. Things are getting kind of crazy back in the pack late in the race. 26 gets on the apron and gets loose. And this will bring in our second to last caution. Yeah, he just kind of gets up on the apron, and it gets his car sideways, and then he couldn't quite save it from there. And then uh, we get an immediate caution to end it. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. That's what happened there. So, looks like uh, Steven, while trying to gas it up, just spinning the tires, trying his hardest to get it going, but unfortunately ends up right in front of Tracy. And then a big ugly finish to this one. That really sucks. So a bit of a strange way to clinch the championship, but we do get it done here today at Phoenix. I'm assuming this is the last thing we have to see. Um, kind of funny that... Uh, in a season with so few cautions, we ended on a caution here. But uh, of course we got one more race, and it's at Homestead. I think we could probably even go uh, green all the way there. I think that's one of those places we probably could. And that'll probably be a better end to the season. As of now, this will do it for this one. Nick, <laughs> frustrated. Um, I understand. But uh, P2 for us, so we will go ahead and look at the race results page. I'll go ahead and load that up. And uh, we'll look at the standings to confirm if we are indeed out of reach. And I believe we are. But we'll look at it, see what the points look like. Here are the race results. Chuck gets the win. Wanted to try to see if I could uh, run him down, but couldn't quite do it. We'll finish P2 um, after the immediate caution, ending the race. Tracy looked like he had it won. He had 111 laps, but um, just a 
chose to pit late there and uh, didn't quite work out. A couple of guys that were really fast, unfortunately, ending up near the back. Got guys like Mitch and then Nick caught in that final wreck. Andrew back there, he was running up front. He was in second place for a long time. Easily could have been us if we weren't um, if we weren't careful. I mean that goes to show you like that easily could have been me and Andrew's spot or something. For example, if I decided to pit there maybe, and then we're going into Homestead, still looking to uh, clinch the championship, and uh, it's still up in the air. So I'm uh, I'm happy with the decision I made there. Played it a little bit safer, but that's what we uh, came in needing to do today. And we got it done. So, there are the race results, and here are the league standings updated after the points of this race. Here it is. It is Gavin in second after a very strong third place finish right behind us. And uh, you'll see here even a max points day for Gavin if we don't even show up at all. It won't quite be enough. We are 209 points ahead. And uh, max points, I think, is like 185. 190 or something maybe so out of reach we have done it we have gotten the championship love to see it um, wish we could have raced it out to the end that feels a little more exciting um, than like a, the little uh, the dud of the finish there but um, it'll be great to finish it off at Homestead and uh, put an end to a really fun season so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed that one despite a couple of cautions we did have some good green plug runs in there mixed in and uh, we win the championship all right two thumbs up don't look at my ugly burnout that'll do it for this one thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one have a good one